Mr. Bigley. Hey there, it's Gerbigly, and today I'm playing Tower of Colors 3D Island. This is a game where we have this big stack that is a giant tower, I guess on an island that we just have to knock down with cannonballs of, uh, I believe, the same colors. It's a puzzle game that has a little bit of an arcadey element, so it's got a lot of appeal to it. I'm very excited to try it out. Let's go ahead and see what this little glowing gift icon is, though. It says day one, we get 50 coins. Don't mind if I do. And then down the line, we get a spin of a mystery wheel, uh, a mystery box thing of some sort, and then more coins. Not 100% sure what those are used for yet, but let's go ahead and play level one. So you'll see here, it says tap. Oh, I, okay, I tapped and I missed, apparently. All right, and uh, <laughs> from the looks of it, those balls do have to match up with the color of the block that they're hitting, which if I start getting really bad at this, I just want to give everyone a heads up. I am colorblind, so I might be terrible at this as we continue to play. And it looks like, uh, sort of like Jenga, if you hit different parts of the board, then more and more of the tower will fall off without you even having to expend any of your shots, which is kind of good. So those count as like bonus points as those keep falling and comboing. Oh my gosh, look at them all go right into the water. What the heck is this? Do we have a meteor? Oh, there's a second bar down here that was filling up. So that's for a meter. I didn't know what that was. I thought that was a cookie. But apparently we have a giant, like, comet. Me oh, my God. It just knocked knocked down all the, uh, all the blocks. And then once we get past that little goal line, it just destroys all of them and gives us a level clear. So simplistic premise. You just click on the things that match and do your best, especially if you're colorblind like me. Um, but kind of, a, again, sort of like a, a puzzle. Oh, my God. That, that's so fun. Uh, a puzzle mechanic with a uh, sort of arcadey casual gameplay. Now that's going to fall. Is that going to put off anything else off balance? Oh, it's so close. It's so, so close. Now this one has different shapes. We have like sort of like pentagon, like cylinder things, and then like purely circular cylinder things. Ooh, that's going to... Yeah, sending everything toppling. That's so cool. I love that. There's something weirdly satisfying. Even though this game, like, it doesn't look like it has a time limit. You do have a limited number of shots, but you also get these Mondo bonuses to knock down stuff with. Um, but it doesn't look like there's anything else that's really pressuring you as the player. You get to rotate the tower to shoot at, oh my god, like an optimal spot that's going to knock down the most stuff which is really fun and there's something just really cathartic um even though again this is like really chill and like low energy low stress um something very very satisfying and cathartic about being able to knock over and destroy something even in a even in a puzzle game with like island music there's i, I don't know what that is there's just that like primal instinct of smash stuff to feel good and it's definitely working here because i could I could sit here all day long playing a game like this. Like, that's so fun when all this stuff topples all at once like that. That's so cool. Oh, and, and being like, I did that. I'm the one who shot that shot that made all these things push apart and then fall over and be off balance and, like, set up these wacky chain reactions. Look at that. That's so cool. That's so fun. These, are, these blocks are pushing these ones apart, so maybe they'll fall off one way or another. Oh, so close so so close but there's like lots of ways to set up these chain reactions that give you not only lots of points but then visually you get that satisfaction of something falling apart falling down it's sort of like uh i don't know there's just something about that and especially like with the island music with the uh like ukulele playing in the background it's just it's really chill i don't know i like this this is like one of my favorite puzzle games i played in a really long time where it's not super challenging but it's got that arcadey appeal to it well also there's this like like there's aspect of destruction and just chill just laid back energy as we're vibing and blowing up this little monument <laughs> probably like oh my god historical ruins here on these islands uh, we are destroying history unfortunately oh my gosh look at that that was huge 30 point or times 30 multiplier on that one that was cool that was cool i don't know i just it's very cool call me simple all you like that's fine i've i've come to terms with that i it doesn't take much to entertain me you can jangle keys in front of my face and i'll be pretty happy with it and that's what this game is it's the equivalent of jangling some keys now i did just notice here over after we shoot this meteor <laughs> knocked down so much crap 
Oh my god, it's all going everywhere. Over here on the side, there is like a wheel spin and one of those box things. Now we have 231 coins, so the box thing is only 100. What's this do? What, what do you do? Oh! So that, that just... That just got rid of, like, one layer? That wasn't that helpful because it didn't set off any chain reactions like a single cannonball thing does. So was I, was I supposed to be doing something else with that? Maybe, like, aiming it? Maybe I, I had multiple shots with it? I don't know. I am not an expert at this game. I'm simply someone who's trying to learn how to play it. Um, so that was an interesting one. That was an interesting power-up. What's this wheel thing? Oh, my gosh. What is this? Oh, I think, okay. Oh, that one, okay, that one's way better than the laser in my opinion. So that one, there you got like a multi-ball that are different colors that will sync up with any color on the board. And then there's five of them, so there's this gigantic proximity that they take out when they hit the tower. That's the best power-up right there. And it's cheaper, it's half the price of the other one. I, either that again, or the I'm just using the laser cube wrong, but I don't know if I want to waste another 100 coins to mess with it. I don't even have 100 coins. I do have 50 if things get tough and I'm not able to get my uh, meteorite comet giant rock thing shooting the moon at the tower here. Then I guess I can resort to using my coins for that like five ball uh, like m rainbow uh, attack thing, whatever that was. That was so cool. I love that a lot. Now, that's a good setup there. That that should knock down a decent amount. And then this one should get a lot going. Yeah, look at them all tumble off the side. And it looks like what happens is so each block that you destroy or have knocked off the tower adds these, uh, these sort of bars on the top here. So that the top one is my progress till I'm done with the tower. And then the one beneath it is when I get my gigantic moon ball to smack things with look at that we're gonna launch the moon no more nighttime light for the earth that's okay because as long as we're getting points that's all that matters that's life's lesson for today is <laughs> give in embrace the point uh the point hoarding here okay we have 18 shots left and we're right at the bottom of the tower here this is an easy street now easy stuff easy peasy feels good now, if only we could get the right color or knock that off that one. All right, there we go. Boom! Way to go. Level six. Here we are. 96 coins. I'm assuming we get coins at the end of each level. I haven't really been fully paying attention because I've been, this has just been fun. It was a times 31 combo. I think that might have been the best one I did. Oh, the combos give you points. Those, those give you the coins. Okay. Again. And not an expert at this game, just someone who's trying to humbly learn how to play while I have fun with physics and um, pretending like I know what colors are because, again, I'm just uh, not not great at that. Oh, you can keep the combo meter going? I thought you had to wait until the shapes stop moving to shoot another shot. I missed there. But apparently I can just shoot it whenever I want? Okay, and keep the combo going. 76? 91 was the combo. I only got nine coins for it. So whatever the second digit is, is how many coins you get. Okay, that's good to know. Again, learning. This is like a, a tutorial for all of you watching. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not me messing up and not knowing what the heck I'm doing and being so colorblind. I can't tell the difference between these two that well. Oh my gosh. I can see the difference a little bit, but not, not enough to make a difference apparently. Oh god, that's embarrassing, but... You know, I'm powering through my disability to become a winner here, okay? So, I should be an inspirational story, if anything. Okay, we got that, that. At least I know what I'm shooting for some of these. Oh, I could really use... Okay, red... What? Oh, that was not red, was it? I'm red-green. I'm green-red colorblind. That that was a rough one. That was a tough one. That one? Yes, that, that's right. Give me, give me the blue. I think that's blue. Now I'm second guessing all the colors. Oh my god. Why would you do this to me, game dev? Why would you do this to me? Why would you go? Oh my gosh. Brian is so colorblind. This is going to be a an LOL funny funny prank time for the person who cannot see colors very well. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a funny haha -ha laughter time. Okay. Giant meteor comet thing. Help me. Thank you. Thank you for destroying so much all right 10 shots left can we do it can my eyeballs that cannot see the entire spectrum of color can i do i don't think i can i think this might be the end for me 
I think this could be it. I think this could be the... Unless I were to get a super shot. Bam! You see that one? Coming in clutch there. Coming in clutch. Getting all the points. I hope this is the right matching color. Okay, that is. Good, 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 good. Okay, I might have to do another color blast because this is not going... Okay, okay. Giant Meteor did not do as much as I thought it was going to do. That was actually on me. That was my fault. All right. This is a last chance. So the most surface area gets blasted there. Oh, boy. And we don't have enough coins for another one of those. Ooh, this is going to be the shot to end all shots. And it's not even the right color. No, why am I colorblind? No. <laughs> what a way to end. Just shy of a thousand points. But that's okay because that's all the time that I had for this video. Anyway, Tower of Colors 3D Island. This game is so fun. Please give it a shot. This is just, I, I had a blast with this one. Uh, no pun intended with that, but um, it's just unironically fun. Again, weirdly calming to destroy something. Uh, hopefully you thought so as well. If you did, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.